Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be talking about the Circular Logic. It's currently up and farmable on Neomona. Uh, it is an adaptive frame LMG. It is in the strand element, so got some cool perks. I'm uh, just kind of going to go over what you want to look for. For PvE, I think you're going to want uh, Envious Assassin, Pulse Monitor, or Frenzy. Uh, and then what you combine it with is kind of going to depend on what you're looking for. If you go Envious Assassin, uh, you can then go Target Lock or Vorpal maybe. Um, I personally would go with Target Lock. And what you're looking to do with that is stack up a whole bunch of rounds and then just pour on the damage. Uh, when they're So like for boss DPS, for instance, um, be a good option where you want some good damage, but you also need decent ad clear. Pulse Monitor uh, can kind of do the same thing if it's a more hectic boss fight and you know you're going to be taking some damage. Um, Feeding Frenzy combines really well with something like Hatchling or Golden Tricorn, um, where you're just going to be clearing a whole bunch of ads at once. Uh, Demolitionist is okay too, although I don't think it's good enough to compete with Hatchling or Golden Tricorn here. Uh, Vorpal is okay. It's only like a 5 to 10% damage bonus though, since it's a heavy weapon, so I would just go with Target Lock. For PvP, I I would go Keep Away, and then I have the Storm and Ricochet Rounds. Um, otherwise, like for PvE, your mag option, I don't think really matters all that much. Um, although I would definitely, I think I would look for a Pended personally for the magazine size. For your barrel, I would look for arrowhead break. You only really need plus 20, but at the same time, you don't want to waste a counterbalance mod, and it's an LMG, so like this, the stats are gonna be fine. So I would just I would look for stability, and then I would put like boss or major spec on, depending on what you need it for. Um yeah, as a whole, it's a it's a very good weapon. Uh I wish it were craftable for enhanced target lock. But if you're looking for a target lock LMG option that is not the craftable one from last season, this is probably your best bet. Uh, definitely worth farming and if you want to get on LMG and you don't have a uh, commemoration. Uh, tomorrow, I believe the shotgun is up, so that's what I'll be covering then. Uh, so I'll see you guys in the next video.